<laughs> hi, hi everybody, it's Sarah. I thought we would do something a little bit different because I can't get all 12 signs plus 12 of the Chinese zodiac signs out every month in time for an overview. I just can't do it. I've got a full-time job. So how about this? How about we do a weekly forecast? And if it resonates with you, great. And if it doesn't, no worries. Pass it on by and find something else. In the meantime, I will try and hit the bigger things like I will do, hopefully, fingers crossed, Mercury retrograde forecast coming up for February for each sign, okay? So what I did was I reikied and drew these cards. One card is from the Don Miguel Ruiz Four Agreements deck. Oh, and by the way, people ask me all the time to recommend books. If you're looking to do some self-care work or to do some personal healing, or you just want to know more about manifesting or feeling better and, and getting better, one of the books that I always recommend is The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. And that's what this card deck is taken from. It's an older book, but it still stands up and he's written tons. His children write books. I mean, there's, there's tons of stuff out there, but start with that book. Start with the four agreement. And I've also drawn two cards from Denise Lynn Soul Coaching Deck to just kind of get an idea of what lessons and what we need to work on the first week of January. And the first card that I drew was Always Do Your Best. And this card in particular is really timely now too because so many of us have pushed so hard through the holidays that instead of it being great, hooray, you know, it's January, it's kind of like, oh my God, and you mean I have to go back to work for those that were uh, on holiday leave during this time. So this card is about always do your best, but don't overdo it. Stop pushing yourself so hard because when you do overdo it, you end up depleting your body, depleting your own personal energy, and it also takes you longer to get your tasks done. It's kind of like um, when we try and do multitasking and we end up doing six things at once, we end up doing six things that take longer than if we've done them one at a time. And also we don't do as good of a job. So that's what this card's about. Yes, you should always do your best, but that's gonna vary from day to day. And you should never push yourself beyond your limit because it ends up depleting you and the tasks don't turn out very well. So I think that's a pretty apropos card for this first week too. It's about maybe you need to spend this week resting and recovering from the last week in December and, and the holidays and with everything going on. Yeah, take a break and don't be so hard on yourself. Okay, so let's draw the two cards now from the Denise Lynn Soul Coaching deck. Okay, so what are the themes for the first week in January that we need to really pay attention to? And they are simplicity, and fulfillment, which kind of go together, don't they, with, uh, with the four agreements. Fulfillment. I've had this card come up lately in personal readings and also in, I think, one of the Zodiac readings. Fulfillment is one of those things where it's a word that we think we know what it means, but do we really? It, of course, means to be fulfilled. But what does fulfillment look like? What does it feel like? How will we know when we are fulfilled? Is, for instance, your career fulfilling you? Are your relationships, are they completing you? Are they making you feel complete, fulfilled, or nourished and cherished? Fulfillment is achieving something, some desired effect, or we fulfill a promise, or a prediction is fulfilled, right? It's basically the meeting of a requirement or a condition. So are you fulfilled? Are you fulfilled in your life? Are your dreams coming true? Are your desires coming true? Are you happy with the situation that you find yourself currently in? And if not, maybe this is the week to take stock and then make those changes because, hey, it's first week of the year. This is a perfect time to really do some soul searching and decide, are you on the right path? What needs to go and what what's working and what you need to put more of in your life? So that's how I read this card. This is a great week to really sit down, journal, meditate, and work through this and decide what's important to you and invite more of that into your life. The other card that came up was 
simplicity. And this is an, an interesting card too. We can really find deep, profound serenity in our lives when we start to simplify. And maybe now, after the holidays especially, maybe you know that uh, it's time to clean house. It's time to get ready for the Chinese New Year. It's time to get the clutter out, clean everything really good, donate stuff to charity, maybe have a garage sale if that's your thing. But lighten the load some. Because when we're in an environment that's got too much clutter, too much stuff, the energy just doesn't flow right. We have a tendency also to get overwhelmed a lot easier when we're in a small space with lots of things in it. And that, it doesn't mean that the stuff needs to all go in the trash. That's not what I'm saying. It just needs to be simplified, right? Whether that is finding a bookshelf for the books or tidying up and vacuuming or donating items to charity. When we simplify our surroundings, we also simplify our lives. And this also perfect week for that, right? So go through, look at your life. What do you need more of? What's making you happy? And what can you get rid of, right? And how can you simplify your life in all terms? I think one of the biggest things that we're all searching for is that tranquility, that serenity, that higher vibe energy where we don't have to work so hard, we don't have to push, and we don't feel so overwhelmed. And believe it or not, simplicity is how we get there. Because a busy life and the accumulation of things create static. And it can be difficult to hear our guides, source, your angels, whatever you want to call it, your higher self. It's really hard to hear them speak to you when we're in the midst of mental chaos. So it's time to create a restful, serene space in your home where you personally can rejuvenate, relax, and feel better. So clear the clutter. And this also includes pictures on your phone, files on your computer, the whole gambit. Clean out the drawer go through the junk drawer, all of it. And even a small amount of clearing can make a big impact in your life. So if you're thinking about, you know, that's just overwhelming and it's too much, pick one drawer, do one nightstand, do one drawer in the bathroom. It doesn't have to be a complete makeover, just do one and see if the energy doesn't flow better. When we create simplicity, the energy flows so much easier. I think all in all, these cards indicate we're gonna have a very good week in January. It's gonna be a great time to do some soul searching and to do some self-care and some self-work. If you would like a personal reading to find out exactly what your lessons are gonna be, you can find me at Serenity, link below. Stay tuned for the next video and once again, guys. Thank you for being part of the Serenity family. Reiki blessings. Bye-bye.